Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of No Money Spent on MLB The Show 24. Now, we have been quite busy since the first video. Uh, we've been grinding a little bit. I'm going to show you what I've been doing, and I'm going to unlock two cards I'm pretty excited about. We're also going to rip some packs I've earned for free. It's going to be a good time. So if you like these videos, you want more No Money Spent, you're like, give me all of that. Leave a thumbs up on the video because it helps me a ton and defeating the YouTube algorithm with that. And of course, comment down below. Let me know what your best poll was. Let me know if there's a glitchy card that you're using that you love. And maybe you'll see it in a video coming up. So after the first video, I have been grinding a little bit of, uh, let's say, a collective melting pot of different things for our No Spin account. Currently, we're sitting at 66,000 XP. Now, again, when I throw these out here, I wanna make sure I make something really clear. Some of you are not gonna be as far as me. That's A-OK. -okay. It's a game. If you're having fun, it does not matter how far you are or whatnot, and you might not be able to play as much as me. Some of you are significantly better than me because I'm a shitter, but you're gonna be farther than me, and that's okay too. There's no wrong way to do this, and I don't wanna show you anything and either make you go, oh man, I'm playing too much or I'm playing too less or whatever. Everybody's got their lives and whatnot. Maybe you got your nine to five. Maybe you're going to school. Maybe you're married. I don't know, but don't feel bad either way. All right, everybody's enjoying it and you can too. So we are currently there. What have I done to get there? So we go to other programs. I did the starter program, which got me this 86 overall Sandy. And I mean, listen, that's a former Cy Young winner. I'm excited. He's got a sinker circle change, four seam slider and a 12 six curve. So that's a free diamond starter for our team. That's pretty big. This wasn't very hard at all. Again, we did the moments. We did some of the single player missions that you can see. We did the uh, mission stuff with live series uh, and all that. The collections for commons, unlockables, bat skins. Definitely recommend doing this because a lot of the stuff that you're going to be locking in are either not valuable, like 58 overall Billy Jenkinson the third from Oakland. He, he'll never be more than six dubs. Who cares? Uh, lock him in the unlockable lock it in who cares the bat skin you get an unlockable one lock it in we did not do any exchanges because again exchanges and I make sure I say this in every video exchanges are different than collecting collecting you keep the card it's just you can't sell it now exchanges means you take the card you look it deep in its sweet beautiful bitch boy eyes and you go I'm gonna light you on fire and never have you again poof you're gone we also did the starter showdown, which was not very hard. Again, be selective at the plate. You can do it, I believe in you. So we did all that and we did, uh, so we got 50 uh, stars there. The spring breakout, we are super McDuper close. We are four program stars away from getting 89 overall Dylan Cruz. I'm pretty excited about this because if you watched me last year when they came out with the draft cards and there was a 99 Dylan Cruz, his swing was one of my favorites. I don't know, man. He would, he just rakes. He's good. I want him. And he also fits some of the theme team stuff that you can do. We'll get there later. Along this path, I've gotten the Colson Montgomery 89. I've gotten the James Wood, another fun player right there. 87, uh, the Jacob, Me oh Jesus, Misirowski. I don't know, dude. I don't know how to read. That guy, got him. Yup. And then Harry Ford and Tamar Johnson with Kyle Manzardo. So we've gotten some diamonds for the team. And how do we do that? We did the moments. We did some of the missions here that you'll see and the repeat breakout series stuff is huge too when you're using these cards doing their missions. General missions here, I need one more. Uno Mas, base hit with a second baseman. And then I get the last uh, bit of program stars I need. We also did the showdown on this, not hard, pretty simple. And we were using, we were playing with these cards doing their missions in conquest now conquest is a single player mode where you're going to essentially take over the map and you're only going to play games against the tiles that have a team's logo on them those are called strongholds for example i wanted to make some progress in team affinity so i've been doing the team affinity west uh conquest you just take over the map and you take over all the conquests it's simple i have to do one more game and then i'll have the whole map and i'll not only be able to potentially get that last base hit i need the second baseman but I should also be able to get a lot of XP in the A or in the NLAL West team affinities. But before we do that, some other stuff we did. We did the batter up one. This one was pretty simple. I completed this. That's why it's redoing it. Batter up two I did. Again, these are very, very simple. And it really just kind of teaches you how to do conquest. Uh, and then we did batter three. I did those on stream just grinding. 
after this video i am going to be trying to get as many free packs and knock out this monster of a conquest map we'll be doing that on twitch so if you want to come hang out while we grind maybe grind along with us twitch.tv slash daddy tv or link in the description so the team as it stands of what we've been using right now is what you're looking at here if you watched me last year you understand that bubba thompson is a king a legend dimu he's a 63 you shut your whore mouth because he's absolutely phenomenal and beautiful and we love him we are big bubba thompson fans here hitting 424 with him i don't know he's just cracked he's, he's amazing i don't know we like him so we have him out there we've been using him uh but we've been using all the mission cards right colson montgomery we were able to get his 198 pxp just by using him and i'm gonna be honest with you i haven't been good with him i hit 250 on offline with him so still completed the mission uh johnson all these other guys now you might be going where's beltray beltray's on the bench right now because like i said we need to get a base hit with the second baseman so we've got tamar johnson out there we've got a med rosario's live series card out there and then we also have Kevin bisher they're all second baseman if i get hit with one of them then i can be done with that program and for good measure i'm gonna throw even just another common as a second baseman if he also plays left field i'm gonna put him out there because i really want that base hit so i can uh kill two birds with one stone in our conquest game here so we're gonna take this team and we're gonna go back over here to single player we're gonna go to conquest and we are gonna slap some titties over here in the west so we are going to skip the attack phase right here skip steal phase because you don't have to skip or you don't have to steal right completed 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 just have to win one more yeah we're good we're totally fine don't have to steal any fans so we don't care about that phase and then we're gonna go to reinforce and we're gonna load up right here so that we can absolutely butcher the uh the giants so that's what we're gonna do one fell swoop now something that you guys i i get a lot of fight about this in the comments and i want you to really listen to me especially if you're new or you feel like you're not good okay i always play my conquest games on a minimum of all-star here is why some of you guys are gonna be like dude dimu i struggle on veteran well if you struggle on veteran you're probably gonna struggle on all-star so who cares the difference is that you're possibly going to get better i believe you can do it lock in and focus you're going to get better and so if we play on all-star we're going to at least be accustomed to all-star pitch speeds which is going to open up more of the game for us maybe we want to dabble in online events are on all-star so you'll be used to that pitch speed uh br on all-star rank seasons until you get to 700 rating on all-star so that way you can be you can open up more of the game and i truly believe anybody and everybody watching you can play on all-star 100 just be patient you got this i mean hell if we're gonna be honest realistically for me i need to be playing this on hall of fame try to speed my bat up if we're gonna try to make world series but that's a whole different story we're gonna use chris sale here because he's a braves legend and i want to parallel him i'm also going to move a med rosario to lead off here i'm sorry bubba but i need that second base hit all righty we're playing the giants there are a lot of picture day photos in the live series stuff do you see this you're telling me jorge soler doesn't have any kind of photoshopped action photo we can do wilmer flores doesn't have an action photo come on anyway we're jumping in if a med rosario gets me a leadoff base hit here i will literally feel so much better dude their pitcher holy shit oh, sean Hid 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 that guy looks like a freaking nine foot seven troll brother he's huge uh, sometimes you gotta moan it through you know base hit Ahmed rosario i'm done with second base hits that'll be the last one i need so at the end of this game i will have unlocked that 90 Dil or 89 dylan cruz and he'll be on the team that's exciting that's a really nice diamond to get and we're just gonna keep trying to hit james wood i'm under it by a mile but what if it went oh it did yeah james wood home run we'll take it shut up don't tell me that i was under it you didn't see it it was a great swing now keep in mind you're also getting a lot of xp via team affinity stuff uh missions while you're doing this so for instance this harry ford is a seattle mariners card which means if i get a base hit with him i'm gonna get some xp for players that are al west right so mariners al west all that stuff uh which is good for team affinity and that's why i don't necessarily rush to get team affinity done because i don't think you really have to you can have your you know you're gonna have a little effort in the beginning but overall you're going to get it over time 100 percent it's not really anything you got to freak out about i just gotta walk there's some xp baby uh yeah that'll play colson montgomery and it's gone you know what's crazy if you're watching on stream last night i don't know if it's because i've been like running on no sleep 
but I was so tired and I was uh, struggling. But uh, the bats came to play today, baby. A perfect, oh, and it ate up the shortstop. I mean, we're just getting hashtag blessed out here, dude. Biggio signs to a fly. So if for some reason, the Metazario's hit didn't count for second baseman. That one did. Well, I say he's cracked and then I ground into a double play because I'm a, I'm a dumb little bitch. Thank you. We're putting Adrian Beltre instead of that common since I already have the second base hits. That was in the event that I couldn't. So we're gonna put Beltre in and we'll switch him to third and move Biggio to the outfield. But get this card a little love. See if we can get him some PXP and maybe make him have a plus one. That's a line drive base hit. We'll take that. Thank you. And then it's Bubba Thompson, baby. I want to parallel five him so bad. So bad. I'm gonna try it. Bubba Thompson, that's a base hit. We'll take it, yes please. I mean, if I can get Bubba Thompson to come home, that's gonna be a run, which is more XP for his PXP. So I'm down. Let's hit a three run shot with Manzardo and believe. Or let's just split the gap, baby. 99 speed, that's going first to home. Bubba Thompson will score. That's a two run double for Manzardo. Manzardo might be kind of nice online too. 108 off the bat. The exit velos this year look like they're a little bit beefy beefed. I like it. And it doesn't really matter. We got out with a Rosario there. It's fine. We have a lead, a pretty dang good lead. Let's just go pitch. All right, so we're using Chris Sale out here. And some of you guys might be like, how come you're not using the other diamonds? Just personal preference. Obviously, they're going to be fine. I'm going to be using them. But I was like, screw it. I can use this Braves legend. And that's what Chris Sale now is. And get used to left-handed pinpoint pitching uh, by using Chris Sale. Get him some PXP. I like it. I'm in. Gives me good practice. And that's what a lot of these Conquest games are going to do for you. Some of you in the Twitch chats will be like, hey, man, I don't know if you know this, but pinpoint is hard for me. These Conquest games, these short three-inning games of CPU are terrific to practice your mechanics get the pitch speeds down get the bat control down get used to playing get your pitching uh figured out muscle memory on the old pinpoint it's a hundred percent the best way to get ready and learn how to do a new sinker oh my god i just threw a perfect new sinker i don't want to say that i'm back but uh i'm i might be back jam shot of manzardo step on the bag butter me up like a trisket bitch let's ride well, that really do suck. One out. Ooh, Harry got a good piece of that one. Is it carrying? No. Well, that sucks. Oh my God. That was not a good swing, but it's going to do that action off the wall. Colson Montgomery. That was, I didn't even move the PCI, I don't think. Yikes. Down the line, going to be scooping that first baseman. That'll be out number three. That's fine. Let's get through this conquest game so we can move on already now with us grinding quite a bit we're also going to have some packs to open after this which is exciting we're going to want to pull something fat and delicious and pray that the sds gods bless a hoe because if they don't i will cry here we go patrick bailey i'm time to sit you down okay circle changes mess me up because they're just they're backwards i mean everything lefty is back backwards but like i don't know it feels super weird doing the circle change I think mainly my brain is just saying, dude, this is not correct. But that was a freaking sexy pitch right there. Punchy JD Davis, by the way, not on the uh, Giants anymore because he was let go and claimed by the Athletics. I'll tell you, that's got to be a shit feeling to be claimed by the Athletics. I mean, you're going to get play time, but like you're going to be in Oakland in that stadium with an owner that like I think hates you guys I don't know you know what I'm saying I don't know I guess the plus for being an athletic is you do get to wear one of the best jerseys in baseball and that's them them Kelly Green Oakland A unis those are hot if you don't like those you're crazy by the way Tamar Johnson uh like I said disgusting I'm gonna enjoy him big boy bomb a little horn thank you oh Beltre oh Bel I can't wait to take this card online and see how we do I am excited. Beat it out, Bubba. Beat it out. It's off his face. 99 speed. We ride. That's more player experience for Bubba Thompson. I'm telling you, he's goaded. If you don't believe in Bubba, you should now. I'm still in second. Give me more XP. All right. Well, don't do that. Don't. Hey, hey, Rogers. What are we doing, champ? I'm stealing. I don't give a damn. Let's ride. 
Is that going to get through? Oh my, it is. I'm going to get another run with Bubba Thompson. There's two more runs. It's nine nothing. I am pissing on the Giants, brother. Yikes. And some of you guys might be like, yo, Dimmu, what is the point of just absolutely beating up the CPU in this instance? I'm just swinging. If it falls and it's a hit, nice. I'm going to get XP for the player cards. I'm going to get XP for the divisions and team affinity. I'm in. I'm not going to bunt it out because why do that? If I really want to get myself out, I'll just get a hit and then keep running until I'm out. But we're just trying to get the juices going, the swings going. Oh, dear. Is that gone? No, I don't. Yeah, son of a bitch. I thought it was going to be off the wall. That's fine. There's out number two. I've been seeing a lot of good things online about this uh, Harry Ford card, but this isn't even the catcher I'm super excited for. I, there's base hit. I think that I have to have that uh, feature program reward. I don't remember exactly where it's at, but it's the Mike Napoli card and it looks disgusting. And that'll be the last out. That's totally fine. I mean, I got three ABs through the number four spot in my lineup. Like we got, we got, we did some work. It's all good. And we're getting XP as you see up there in the top corner, 374 XP. Let's keep going. Bottom of the third, I'm leaving uh, Chris Sale out there. I don't give a damn. Give me my experience. One pitch, fly ball, Bubba Thompson. One away. And that's going to ground a bell trade. That'll be out number two. We are one out away from being done with this conquest map. Got him. That's it. Done with the uh, team affinity West, which means I'm going to get 30 points in both the AL West and NL West uh, team affinity, which is huge. It's going to get me really close to being able to unlock some of these cards that I'll have missions that then I can throw in the lineup and use in the USA conquest. Since I'm going to try to complete that, I want to be able to knock out missions where I can. We're parallel three with Chris Sale now. I like it. And Dylan Cruz is ours. This insane card joins the squad. We also get a headliners pack and a show pack, which is huge. So now if you come to programs, you look at other programs, we're done with the starter and the breakout. That's awesome because this week coming up, I would assume we're going to have another program for the uh, the Korean trip baseball stuff that's happened to the Dodgers Padres, which also should be when Yamamoto's introduced to the game because he'll be making his debut. Uh, so we should be getting some really fun content coming out of that. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Now with Team Affinity done, I have now the AL West, I have at 15%, which means I got all these goodies right here. I'm halfway to my first boss pack, if you will, of the Team Affinity, which has a crazy good looking Carlos Correa. It's got Rysel Iglesias, Braves legend. It's got Ricky Henderson, uh, Mitchy Mitch, and then it's got a very nice Jose Leclerc. If you've watched me for a while, you know I like Jose Leclerc with that five pitch mix. I might be going him. We could use bullpen pieces. So we're gonna keep working on that. But if you come down here to the NL West, you're gonna notice that I'm over 60,000 XP now. So we got all these goodies, balling as a habit, all that stuff, and this boss pack, which means I could get Brandon Webb, Charlie Blackman, uh, Justin Turner, Tony Gwynn, or Brandon Crawford. And I'm going with one of the sweetest swings in baseball. What the, I mean, MLB the show, any card for this guy is phenomenal. So I'm very excited. Now, if we come over to the packs in total via me grinding, getting XP from the feature program, the team affinity stuff, the conquest maps, the head hidden goodies, stuff like that. We have 24 show packs, five balling is a habit, which means uh, these bad boys. Can I show it's a one in one chance that we at least get a gold. So that'll be good for live series collection stuff and a one in 15 chance we get a diamond, uh, which would be really cool. We're going to get a lot of collection fodder here in these AL East Central, all that stuff like packs. These are huge for collections, which is very nice. We're going to have the headliner, so we'll have a chance to chase the Mickey Mantle. Uh, we have another five bundle here from the season starter thing. We have three Twitch drops. Uh, I The reason I didn't have these in the first video was I had to go to Twitch and, and redeem them. If you link your account by signing into your show account on the website, go to the show's website, sign into your show account link your console to the show account then link your twitch to the show account you will be able to get these whenever twitch drops are active sometimes my twitch streams have them other twitch streams have them um sometime or every time sds is live they have them as well so and they're just free packs i mean you, you're if you're watching anyway oh get your free packs uh got another head we got a headliners here wait what is the difference between headliners that'll have a random headliner but there's only one 
okay and my cornerstone pack finally showed up if you log into the game this will be in your inventory already okay this is the one that has the captains that'll help you and you're like dimbo you didn't have that in the first video if that happens to you right if you're playing diamond dynasty you're like where the hell is this pack back out of the game come back in you should be good that's what happened for me so we have that we have the nos pack we have some unlockables that i do not give a damn about and i'm gonna open these and i'm not even gonna really make you watch this because i mean do you care that i got the royals jersey even though the royals black jersey is kind of hot but do you care are you like oh my god this is what we trained for probably not now that i've gotten all the jerseys out of those packs again there was nothing exciting there we're gonna start the show packs here now if we can pull a diamond, that would be huge. We do get Spencer Steer of silver. We will take it. I Give me anything of value. Nothing there. Give me good stuff. Mason Wynn, he could end up being nice. Whit Merrifield, that's a silver. We'll take it. It's going to be collection fodder. I am fine with that. Give me more packs. Give me Blake Trinan. Blake Trinan's a pretty good reliever to have in him with the show. Got a good pitch mix, in my opinion. Uh, nothing there with Jesus Sanchez. What else do we have? Salvador Perez. There is a diamond Salvador Perez we can start trying to unlock as well. We got a gold. This is something that's different. I almost thought it wasn't supposed to be in the game per se, but in regular show packs, you can just pack random flashbacks. Jake Odorizzi with the twins when he was an all-star. So we got an 81 overall. It's season, it's set season one uh card so that'll help with that collection i i guess 15 show packs remain baby we got harold ramirez a ton of just picture day cards come on now where are the fun tops arts give me that give me we got two bronze cards here uh, blah, 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 blah. come on give me something good mejia nothing give me a diamond okay i that you can really see the freaking shadow here in the brewer's green screen but you can't everybody else's it's just like they're there I don't know. They should have told Trevor McGill to step up a little bit. All right, dude, too close to the green screen. Oh my God, an iron, very good looking green screen for Oakland. This is what you trained for, Oakland. This is what you wanted, not a wrinkly green screen. We ride 10 show packs. Come on, baby, bam. Carlos Rodon, I expect him to have a better season this year. Ryan Thompson, he's kind of funky if I'm not remember. Uh, Jock Peterson, okay, big cock Jock. What else do we have? Bam, Brenton Doyle. And Tommy LaStella, Braves legend. Six show packs remain. God, we ain't pulling nothing. Omar Narvaez. Okay, now we 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 trashed Oakland all year for the wrinkly green screen. What's happening behind Omar here? What's happening, Mets fans? I don't know. I'm seeing wrinkles behind him. What's going on? Don't understand. Five show packs. Let's go. Bam, nothing. Dominic Leone, nothing. Give me... Golly, chat my pack luck is not being very cute we do get a silver and evan carter which is nice because i expect him to get upgraded uh pretty quickly to be honest shane baz all right we got anthony rendon everybody knows rendon loves to still play baseball smile one show pack remain give me something good damn i got Corey jolks and denny bentley anyway we're gonna open up the collection fodder here just because these are always silvers and bronzes Again, these are going to be good for your collection. So don't try to buy any unnecessary silvers and uh, bronzes for teams if you haven't gotten these packs from your team affinity. Because these are going to help. Oh my God. What are the odds that we got the double Estuary Ruiz? That's like 120 stolen bases combined between the same dude. Uh, AOS. Give me Bam. Matt Brash, JP Crawford. Got a lot of Mariner stuff, I think, in that pack. That's fine. Uh, Chapman, known mama's boy. If you saw that on Twitter, dude just was like, hey, man, what am I going to post on Instagram today? Mm, just me jiggling my mom's uh, mommy milkers. Just going to post that there and be like, that's cool. And everybody else was like, what the fuck? Anyway, we got him and we got Jake Fraley. Another NL Central pack gives me Hunter Green, Ian Happ. That's fun. Quinn Priester's there. Another fun name that could be something this year. Brooks Raley is a really good pitch mix here. Sinker, Slurve, Cutter. We like that. Uh, let's see. NL East. Bam. Starley Marte, AJ Minter. We're getting some, some like our bullpen's kind of weak on this team. And we're getting some usable. The double Max Muncy. There's a bagillion strikeouts between the same dude right here. 
Uh, but we're getting a lot of stuff that we can try to patch our, our bullpen up with. Michael King. I am big on Michael King this year. Also, I'm big on Bobby Miller, but I feel like everybody's. Michael King looked really good in the rotation for the Yankees last season in the second half. And now he's going to the pitcher's park that is Petco. I think he's going to shove. I am all in on the Michael King. I have him on like all my fantasy stuff. I'm, I'm big on him. If he sucks, just know I'm going to be sad. I'm going to open the season one starter kit because I forgot to. So we have more star, uh, standard packs. Dude, I saw the blue. This is a mean, this is a mean background here. I saw the background for Nick Gordon here and I thought it might be a diamond and my heart did like a little flutter. It fluttered. Four show packs, come on. Give me a diamond. Let's believe. Ew, a flashback Adam Frazier. That's disgusting. Okay, three show packs. Damn, Steven Matz, come on. Give me one diamond. Let me believe in love after love after love. I don't think those are the words, but you know what I'm saying. Nothing. Miles Michaelis, we got a mustache. All right, dude. Uh, The Twitch drops, Twitch drops, give me a diamond. Smile, wouldn't that be great? The double silver though, Montgomery and Joey Meneses. Let's go. Twitch drop number two. Bam, nothing. One more. Uno mas. Silver Garrett Whitlock. Well, I mean, it'll help with collection stuff, I guess. I don't know. Contains one pack. It's just gonna be the headliner one. Yep, that's fine. We are going to open. Hmm. Let's do the headliner. See if I can't get lucky. A mantle would be awesome. Nothing. Liam Hendricks, son of a bitch. One more chance of the headliner. Give me mantle. I think it's mantle. We're not gonna get him. We got Spencer Steer again. Now for some of you guys, you're like, are you gonna sell all these? I'm not. I'm only gonna go through my lineup, or my inventory and sell the dupes because I wanna keep these for collections. Uh, balling is a habit. I would like a diamond out of these. I get a guaranteed gold though. And there's the gold. It's Kevin Gossman. I mean, that's fun, I guess. That's cool. Give me diamond. Uh, I got the double gold, which is Cal Raleigh and uh, Camilo Duvall, but but no diamond. Three of these left. See, everybody says that streamers have these boosted packs. I got double gold again, and I ain't getting shit. I'm big on Royce Lewis this year too. Very big on him. We love us Royce Lewis in this house. Give me diamond. Bam. Nothing. Jonah Heim. One more chance to pull a diamond. Come on. Believe. Believe. Son of a bitch. Nothing. Now we're gonna come over here to this NL West pack. I'm taking, I, I'm doing it. I'm taking Charlie Blackman. And here's why. If you've ever used a Charlie Blackman card, you know that he is stupidly cracked. Righty uh, or lefty, whatever, doesn't matter. He hits anybody and everybody. You're also gonna notice that 125 clutch in the middle of your screen there that is going to be his contact rating if there's a runner on second or third. So we're going to be looking to do some damage with him. Defensively, eh, kind of a toad, but maybe he could be our DH. He's got 69 speed. We'll take him. I think he's the move. Um, we could take Justin Turner, which is just me if I knew how to put down a fork. Uh, Tony Gwynn, the power scares me that he's not going to be as good. Brandon Crawford could be really sick, but I already have a diamond shortstop that I'm, I'm okay using. Brandon Webb throws 91 i think anybody's gonna pop that puss so i'm going charlie blackman welcome to the team buddy and the season one cornerstone now i you've probably seen everybody talk about this so these cards are captain cards that will boost stuff uh with you know if, with certain requirements so greg maddox maddox will boost players that have under 70 power versus righties and pitchers with under 75k per nine um which is cool, that's good for, you know, trying to build up a team or whatever. And honestly, the pitching might be kind of nice uh, since, you know, we were kind of running a, a crappy pin. But Byron Buxton, if you have under 60 vision and a lot of the cards we just unlocked do have under 60 vision, he gives you plus 15 power versus righties, 15 power versus lefties, 10 fielding and 10 speed. Buxton is the move, we're gonna take him, yes. Now, before we put him in the lineup, we're gonna do something real quick. And I don't know if they're gonna patch this. I don't know if you're necessarily supposed to be able to do this, but we're gonna. We're gonna go to season one collections and we're gonna go to that Byron Buxton we just got. And we're gonna collect him, okay? So he's collected. Then we're gonna bounce back here and we're gonna go to exchanges, player exchanges. Keep in mind with Cornerstone Captains, if you pick one and you're like, oh my God, I picked 
Arenado and I don't like him, you can exchange him. Literally right there, bam. You'll get the pack back. You can open it. Pack, say you want Sanga. You have Sanga now. Go back to collections. Go back to season uh, collections, season one. Find Kodai, which he is right there. Collect him and rinse and repeat. So exchanges, change players, cornerstone captain, yerp. Kodai, we're going to get rid of him. We're going to take somebody that we don't have and open the pack. We'll take Maddox this time. We haven't had him yet. We're going to go back to collections. We're going to go season collections. And what this does is you just get four cards that you're able to lock in for these season one collections. This is going to be, I mean, a little help. I mean, it's four cards on essentially one. So we're going to go back and we're going to do the same damn thing again. Exchanges. And I'm going to exchange and get the last dude, which is Arenado. So we have Arenado now. And we're going to go back here to collections. Lock Arenado in. And then exchange him back for the bucks that I want. And that way we've been able to put... I don't know if you're allowed to be able to do that. Because, like, you're supposed to... If you lock something in, you're not supposed to be able to exchange it and stuff. And I understand with corner captains, you're, like, supposed to be able to switch them out. But if you lock them in for credit towards season one, I would think you're just stuck with that captain. So... I don't know if that's going to get patched, but I'm going back and I'm taking Buxton and that's who I want. And so by doing the team affinity conquest and then doing the two featured or the two other programs, this is where we're at in the team. We've got the Buxton captain out there who's going to be active and boosting Dylan Cruz, the brand new 89 we just got. Yeah, his vision, it qualifies to be boosted. So this is a huge card that's going to get an upgrade. As you can see, the wheel in the middle will have his changes. So he had 85 speed. I have the tier two boost, which gives us plus five speed and whatnot. He's going to have that now. Uh, James Wood, another insanely good card early out of the gate. He's going to have the boost as well. Kyle Manzardo has the boost. Johnson has the boost. Uh, Beltre and Montgomery don't. And honestly, if I could find a shortstop that's different that I like, we would be able to hit tier three boost, but it is what it is. Uh, Charlie Blackman also does not have the boost, but Harry Ford, the catcher, does. Uh, and then, of course, I had to keep Bubba Thompson on the bench. He also, if you care, is boosted. And then the rotation is this Jacob Missio Rouse, that guy. Uh, we got Sandy, Blake Snell, Robin Roberts, and Chris Sale out here. The bullpen has been patched up. It's still not the best, but I feel like with, with guys that have effective pitches, you know, AJ Minner has a cutter. Chapman has a, uh, oh, he doesn't have a sinker, but he does throw hard. So there's an option for a lefty. Brooks Raley has a sinker cutter. Um, so we have three lefties in the pen now. We got some good righties here that are at least budget righties to go along with Felix Bautista. Uh, so I feel like overall, this team looks pretty good. I'm going to be jumping into the U.S. Conquest map so we can get even more goodies because our packs, they weren't that great today. I'm going to be 110% honest with you, but we had the opportunity to pull something. And honestly, sometimes that's all we can ask for. We're going to be going into the Conquest here and we're going to get even more stuff with this one right here. Now for the USA Conquest, some people are always like, this is really confusing to me. And I'm going to show you how to tackle this here. Now, if you hit triangle, you're going to notice there is a lot of missions here. Make sure you look and you do all of these. Uh, a lot of this is just taking divisions, uh, you know, acquiring spaces. I don't believe there's any steel fans in this one. There might be, though. 200, no. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there's no steel fans one here, so that's good. So what we're going to do is we are going to toggle the map. You see that we have 12 uh, fans on our home thing. So what we're going to do, we're going to go left. And we're going to take as many of these spaces as we can. And we're going to try to go cut off the Colorado Rockies here and take them out. Although it looks like they're just going to keep moving as well. <clears throat> but the more spaces you take, the more reinforcements you'll be able to put. So it's not the end of the world if you don't take something on the first turn. I just want to cover as much ground as possible in my first turn. So we can't move anymore. This is what we've done. We've pretty much got a circle around Colorado here. We don't have to steal fans, so we're going to skip the reinforce phase. We're going to pour all of our reinforcements into there on one spot, and we're going to skip to the attack phase. Now we're going to start simming and trying to get rid of some of Colorado's stuff. You see we won that tile there. They're going to attack us. We have three, three fans on that tile. Now as it stands, we could attack Colorado and try to knock them out, but we'd have to play on Hall of Fame. 
I want to play the games on All-Star. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip the steal. The map is going to do its thing. And I am going to go to reinforcements. We're going to put all of them on that three. So now we have seven fans on this one tile. And we're going to go and knock out the Rockies. When you beat the Rockies, you'll have taken that over as a stronghold. That is the whole point of this conquest. You want to cover the board. The more spaces you cover, the more reinforcements you get each turn. And you only want to physically play the game if you're trying to take a tile that has a team's logo that's called a stronghold so the rockies logo right there that's their stronghold i want to knock that out so i'm going to play that game otherwise if i'm running into a purple one or two or whatever we're simming that all day because we just want to just clear the space if we win we win cool if we lose it doesn't matter that's how we're going to do it and again i'm going to go through this more detailed on stream if you want to see that uh twitch.tv daddy tv let's go it'll be right there we're gonna be grinding that tonight that is what i'm gonna be working on next that's where we're at as a team let me know where you're at did any of your free packs bless you with some some heat mine didn't which means one of you out there got some damn luck oh and one more thing we do have another youtube channel if you're curious and interested where i upload my streams in full uh in playlists on youtube that way if you're like i want to watch dimu play uh it will be the show 24 and i want to watch the streams in full was background whatever you're doing work you're playing i don't give a damn uh that will be in the pinned comment down below it is daddy tv vods that is our second channel we just uploaded a vod today so go check it out and they will all be in playlists so you can easily search it and all that good stuff but we are going to grind this I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm excited to keep playing. Like, I've, uh, unlocking things is fun to me. I hope it's fun to you. Uh, let me know how you're feeling in the comments. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace.